Ah, uh, whoa! <laughs> what was that? That must have been a catapult. Holy crap! The knight's going! He's going! And he's gone! We got a home run with the knight! Well, hello there, everybody! Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I know it's been a while since we last checked this out, but honestly, the game hasn't updated recently, and I got kind of bored of the same old mods over and over again, as I'm sure you did as well. Was that tree always like that? That's very particular. Interesting. I wonder what's going on there. Oh, actually, there's lots of them. No, no, not that I see it. But yes, a new update has come out, and uh, it's a really cool update at that. It's one I've actually mentioned multiple times. You can actually now customize the battle zone. You can choose wherever you want the battle zone to go, and that has made it so you can have different battles on different maps, and there's going to be some interesting ways to do that. Now, also, they added a circle tool, so if you wanted, for example, to be surrounded, you can do that as well and have a circle battle. The cool thing is, uh, not only can you change... The areas where you spawn them, but you change the way they actually uh, look at something, too. So, we've been able to kind of do this with mods in the past, but they would always look in the direction of the base game. That is, you know, the straight line in the middle. Uh, the one team would look left, the one team would look right. Now, as you can see, they surround, and, uh, well, this ain't gonna go well for this guy, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> look at it. It's a standoff. Oh, my God, I love it. Oh, they're actually scared to go in. Come on, there's so many of you. He's actually doing amazingly good, considering he uh, should have died in seconds. Uh, so that was impressive. But yes, that's the main part of this update. But obviously, as per usual with the updates, they unlock secret characters as well. Now, I'm going to show you the locations for the secret characters. If you do not want to see them, go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there's three new characters we're going to check out. And two of them, I believe, are on this map. So we just got to find... There's an altar somewhere on the outskirts here. There it is. And on this altar, there should be something. Is it the skull? I hear it. I don't see it. Oh, it's the skull right in front of me. Oh, my God. I'm blind. And we got raptors, ladies and gentlemen. The first dinosaur to get in the game. Now, that's the first secret unit. We got two more to find. It's looking like in here. Is this another skull? Oh, it's a mounted raptor. I can tell already due to the two skulls. Yeah, we got the old Raptor Rider. Okay, so two Raptor units. Those should be fun to uh, check out. Now, the other one is on a different map, so let's move over to that. All right, and here's the other one. We're on Viking 1, and we got the Shouter as well. Okay, so it's right over on the side here, just in this rock crevice. All right, let's try some Raptors versus some Spear Throwers here, and look at these go. Oh, wow, they're real fast. Obviously, the Raptors, that's to be expected. I thought they would jump a little bit. Looking like they more of a charge attack than anything else. Actually, they're dropping like crazy. I thought they'd be a little more powerful. Uh, <laughs> caught them in their mouths, though. That's hilarious. Uh, so they're just dragging them around. So I wonder how they'd be against something big like a Mammoth. I feel like this would be a, a speedy unit that would be really good against that. They're actually, I think they're going to win this. It's close. Four of them left versus, well, it looks to be, yeah, they definitely won it, but it was closer than I expected. All right, and now we got the Raptor Riders. These guys look absolutely awesome. I decided to throw them up against the Cavalry. Um, they're actually not that expensive, as you can see. Six on two, and technically, uh, the, in terms of money, the Cavalry's worth more, so... They should, on paper, not win this. This is probably a really bad battle for them. Oh, yeah, they're a lot slower than I expected. I thought they'd be uh, at least a little bit faster, but no. <laughs> they're so derpy. Uh, they never change tabs. Okay, so there's one horse gone. The uh, knight is still up, though. It's looking like the knights are probably going to win this one. I think the raptor riders would be good against really weak units. Actually, amazingly, they did actually win. So it was a close battle. It looks like it was one-on-one -on -one at the end. Maybe, actually, is this guy still alive? Yeah, that guy's still alive. So they still had two left. So, yeah, uh, definitely better than the Cavalry. Yeah, that, that, that's actually even in terms of money. I got to say the Raptor Riders are probably definitely going to win this one. Here they go. So, yeah, they come in. They hit with their spears, obviously, and charge in with the Raptors as well. They took out a lot of them there. Uh, quite a few Raptors down, too, though. Maybe they will get overwhelmed. They might be better at dealing with bigger units, actually. I thought they'd be good against the little units. Still looks like... I don't know. They might have the upper hand. There's only three left. No, I think they got... I don't think they're going to win this. Never mind. This guy just took out, like, four right away. And, man, the Raptor Riders might be really, really good. 
All right, and finally, we have the shouters now. I'm thinking, yes, they're just going to... Whoa! They got a major blowback. Okay, so... This unit might be too damn good. It's going to be very easy to push this unit off any map like this where there's a ledge. I think this unit will shine because uh, they can just shout and push them right off the ledge here. It's looking like that's going to happen, possibly. They obviously aren't very strong, but they just sparted the whole team. There's one left. All right, it looks like they do punch as well. This guy doesn't care about his friends at all. And are you going to just walk off the ledge? Well, he's the final one alive. And he just killed, like, five of his buddies here. What the hell, man? All right, so let's play with the new circle mechanic a bit. I want to surround a really good unit. I'm thinking, like, Uller or something should be real good. Uh, let's go into here. It's been a while since I last played. Uller, I think, is probably the best option. But, yeah, we got a bunch of Ullers here. And let's just have, like, a zombie infestation-type surround scenario. We'll definitely go back to the Raptors later, but uh, the Raptors are not going to be able to deal with something like this. So there we go. I think that should be good. Uh, we're gonna, let's drop down a few of the Oolers as well. Let's try and make this somewhat fair. That should be good. I think they're still going to be overwhelmed. Technically, they're worth more money, but this is a lot of halflings to deal with. And <laughs> I always forget the uh, Uller has that freeze attack too. That is really, really cool. Well, they're being hit a bit, and uh, I don't think Uller has too much HP. It's just such a good uh, unit at keeping at bay, and as you can see, it's freezing them like crazy. It looks like he froze himself. Uh, that's too bad there. We got, I think this is too many halflings. These guys are not gonna be able to deal with this. They're freezing themselves, actually, just due to the blast radius. They're all frozen, oh my god. You guys better unfreeze yourself quick. All right, it still looks like I think the Ullers have the upper hand here. Yes, no pro- wait, red. Uh, I don't even remember who's red, honestly, because everything's blue right now. Jesus. Oh, I didn't think about the da, da Vinci tank. Now, this thing really isn't that powerful, so let's drop this. We were lagging a little bit anyways, so we're going to get rid of uh, a few good halflings here. But now, the Da Vinci tank, this is like the perfect unit for this. It's, it's circular. It shoots everywhere. This is going to be dangerous. All right, 4,000 versus 10,000. I don't think it's going to win because it's not really that accurate. It's basically just like a spinning minigun. And it looks like it has to reload now. And if they can get in there, all they got to do is kill Da Vinci. He's just kind of chilling there. Oh, they're trying. None of them have gotten lucky and gotten in, though. They're holding on. This is kind of like a sick amusement park ride now. Uh, I forgot that. The half things hold on. Uh, this is not a good unit to hold on to. It's just going to shoot you off when you eventually let go. All right, it looks like the majority of them have moved to one side. They're balling together to try and get in there. Da Vinci's just... Da Vinci has to be very, very dizzy at this point. But yeah, he's just holding on for dear life. These guys, they can't get in. They're trying their best, but they can't seem to get in. And every now and then, it is actually shooting now, as you can see, right into the big pile. But Blue did win after all. Did this guy get in? I don't think, no, that guy's still alive, but I don't think that's who grabbed him. I think just over time, it does take a little bit of damage. And as you can see, I think some of the panels fell off. All right, the raptors are invading the kingdom. So we got uh, the basic raptors in the front here. They seem to be ready to go. And behind them, we got the big guys versus the knights here. We got the knights in the front, archers on top. We got a catapult over here. Of course, the king in the back. So I just wanted... My my favorite thing to do is to uh, try and defend this this castle zone here. So now that we have this new uh, way to change the front lines of war, uh, obviously we're going to go right to that castle right away and see what happens. All right, so let's get it started here. This might be a little bit laggy. This is a lot of uh, units here. But here we go. Charging in the archers... They should be shooting, but they're not very smart, so they're jumping off the safety of their ledge. You guys over here, you, even you. Seriously, the catapult? Come on, man, I thought you would stay up there. That's, that's one more thing this game needs to have, is a way to tell the units to hold. If they, if we, if we had that, uh, this game would be perfect in my opinion. But here we go, we got a raptor ball in the middle. Uh, whoa, <laughs> what was that? That must have been a catapult, holy crap. The knight's going, he's going. And he's gone. We got a home run with the knight. I don't even know what happened there. I'm assuming that was a catapult shot. We do have a catapult back here. That or the king's extremely strong. So we do have a king here. We have a couple priests, by the way, in the back, too. 
Uh, on paper, the Raptors should definitely lose this thing, especially with the heels and whatnot. So we'll see what happens. It's looking like it's a pretty close fight here. We do have to worry about the archers over on the sidelines, though. We have piled the Raptors all together. I was hoping some would spread out and go over here, but uh, we can't get that lucky. We just got to let them do what they do. Here we go. Still some of the base Raptors. I saw one was just over here. Yeah, there he is right there. He's still good to go. The majority of the ones left, though, are the mounted raptors, and we're going into the archers here. I'm surprised they're actually still up. I thought they would die much quicker. Looks like we got a couple guys left. We got to get that the king down, at least. If we can slay the king, I'd be happy. Here he comes. Oh, right in the nuggets. That didn't work, though, and he is down. We got another raptor coming in. Ooh, two base raptors, unless they're... Uh, Mounts died. Oh, did you see that bite? He just bit the king. That's hardcore, man. All right, it's not looking good. Did you just kill your king? Okay, no. The catapult shot, though. I thought he took out the king. Red is victorious, though. Gotta say, there's not much of a kingdom left, though. Uh, the raptors did take out quite a few. All right, so I downloaded some of the current popular battle creators, and this one looks cool. It's called Hold the Fort. And basically, we just have a shouter up, up top with cheerleaders. So I never thought to try that. Uh, but obviously, the cheerleaders are going to increase this guy's shout. And he... Is he going to be able to hold this? I don't know, man. That is a lot of units, as you can see. But they're all units that should be easy to deal with with a blowback. So it's looking like he's telling them to get the hell out of here. All right, don't die, buddy. Don't die. You're going to die. Well, that was anticlimactic. That was like the most popular level. What the heck? They just died right away. That must have been bad luck, right? Maybe I should control the unit. That's probably smart. There we go. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Guys, back up. Let me back. You guys, if you want to die, that's fine with me. I, I got places to be, people to see. Why can't I use my space attack? Is it because is it the cheerleaders are in the way? There we go. I cheered them again. All right, cheerleaders. I already got your buff. Feel free to die down there. You, you guys keep them busy. I want to actually try and survive this. Get away, little head, McGee. Oh, he's actually staying. You want to fight? I'll beat you up, man. I'll beat you up. No, I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be doing this. You have a sword. All I got is, is these fists of steel. Get out of here. Uh, shout, shout. Shout at that little bastard head. Oh, my God. I can't actually hit him here. It's very hard f fighting on stairs, guys, by the way. Okay, he fell. He fell. Go up the stairs quick. I'm very low health. Oh, my God. They're on my tail. Come on. Climb those stairs. Oh, man. I am the slowest stair climber I've ever seen. Well, this doesn't look impossible. Um, yeah, basically the tribals have uh, taken a liking to the raptors, clearly. And uh, we got to figure out a way to kill these guys. You know what? If you, if you guys want to use raptors, I'm using secret units as well. Who haven't we seen much of? Lady Red Jade was one that kind of just went under the radar. So we're going to put out some of the units that we don't normally see too much. I got to throw... I mean, we've seen the Tree Giant a lot, let's be honest. But he's like my favorite unit. So we're going to send him out. Let's actually throw some Shouters in the front. We may as well utilize the new secret unit to our advantage. That should push them back in a ball. With them in a ball, I think Uller would be good. Is Uller too good, though? I think Uller might be too good. How about the Teacher? Yeah, we'll just have some uh, fencing guys in the back for any Scragglers that might survive a little bit. These guys should be good at dealing with them, especially with their sword playing skills. All right, I think that should be fair. 35 versus 38. Let's slow it down, and there goes the Shouters. Shouters did not successfully shout the Raptors, so it seems to be only small units. Here comes Lady Red Jade with a tornado of fury. Uh, this is what I didn't want, though. The cavalry to uh, bundle up together, and hopefully they didn't kill Lady Red Jade, but I think they did. Artemis, as you can see, shooting down there. Where, where are you going, giant? Oh, damn. These raptors are clearly... Wait, what? Where did you... They snuck up behind us. I didn't even know they were back. Th How did they get back there? It was This wasn't a circle battle, was it? Clearly, we were surrounded. All right, well, this is not going to go well. Lady Red Jade is still spinning. I think she just died, though. It's not looking good. Oh, there she is right there, actually. Is she still alive? Spin! Spin, Lady Red Jade! Come on, we need all the help we can get. It's not looking good, man. Okay, where, 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 where's the rest of the battle going on? Here they come. Smash them with that tree. Smash. Yes. That's what we need to do. Get rid of all the raptors. Oh, man, this is great. So, yeah, we got two battles basically going on right now. Uh, looks like one of my cavalry still alive. Never mind, he's dead. We'll just move on from there. 
And all we got is Artemis and a derpy giant, it looks like. And that's pretty much it. Good thing is this guy's keeping these guys busy. Uh, Artemis should be able to do a lot of damage here. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have two Artemises. Um, what are you aiming at? Are you, are you shooting both battles at the same time? That is... What? What? What are you shooting at, Artemis? All right, well, Artemis is not the smartest, but uh, she does shoot a lot of arrows. We actually might be okay. This guy can take out the raptors. This is going to be a damn close game. Oh, I forgot about Vlad. Good old Vladdy boys over here still alive as well. And it looks like the giant did take him out. I think we might have this. It's going to be close. There's still a crap load of units, as you can see. A little bit laggy, but not much is going on right now. And Artemis is about to get overwhelmed here. I think we got it, though. Artemis did a lot of damage there, dwindling their numbers. Poor giant here taking these spears to the face, basically. Oh, we even got, uh, what's his name back here? Uh, we'll have to deal with him later. I think we should be okay, though. And Vlad's still up, man. Vlad hasn't done much. He's kind of slow with that giant pole. There we go. Oh, did he just get hit by the giant? Vlad, are you okay? I wanted to see you do something, buddy. Come on, get up. Is he dead? Did you die, Vlad? Seriously? Yeah, I think Vlad died due to the giant, so we're not going to get much help from Vlad. I don't think we're going to need it, though. Artemis, both Artemises are still up. Artemis, uh, one of the first secret units still <laughs> just gets trampled. Um, giant, never change, you derpy bastard. I love you. Uh, but yeah, one of the first units added and still clearly a very good unit. Uh, where are we going here? That, that, that new cave. We, we, we have one in here, don't we? Yep. Whoa! Oh, you guys are sneaky. Now, the question is, are we going to be at a standstill here? Or are they actually going to find the entrance to this place? It's clearly looking like we're going to be at a standstill. That's okay. I'm smart enough to know where it is. Come on, Artemis. Let's go. Come here, little hobbit. Little hobbit says... Oh, God, that's right. Oh, no, Scarecrow. We have to get the Scarecrow down. Get the Scarecrow down. Come on. All right, you know what? I'm just going to walk right in. I will call this my home now. Come here, little scarecrow. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Really wish there was first person. Um, did I, did I kill him? Oh, yeah. Well, he's dead on the ground here, so I'm assuming he's gone. All right, GG. I'll see you later. There's still a raptor somewhere. There he is. Come here, Derpy McGee. What are you doing? Why do the raptors get stuck so much? All right, well, this should be pretty easy. There you go. There's some arrows to the face and a blue victory. All right, it's the Battle of the Hill. So uh, this one doesn't relate to the new secret units at all, but it looks damn cool. So we got uh, basically a little bit of a hill battle here. The Vikings are clearly winning right now. Uh, they're even in the trees, interestingly enough. And the Hoplites have come to take it back. So let's see what happens here. I really wish it didn't do that. If we change the location of where it's starting, it should bring the uh, camera over, but that's fine. I'm not gonna complain. Let's see what happens here. My money is on the Vikings, though. Vikings are just the best. Still one of the best classes in this game. Plus, they have the upper hand here. It's looking like it's a pretty good battle right now. They're holding out, at least. This guy is going to fall off the ledge. See you later, buddy. <laughs> oh, I love how derpy tabs units are. Uh, ooh, actually, the Hoplites. They took on this side of the hill, as you can see. It looks like they're actually may maybe taking on the whole hill here. Um, we got some pretty big units up top. All right, what's the situation? We got a few, a couple Vikings, literally a couple Vikings left, I think. Uh, we still got actually quite a few of them over here. Problem is they're bundled together and clearly stuck. So the Hoplites can take these guys down. We'll see what happens once they actually go over. We got one more on the mountain here, just kind of diddle daddling. I don't know what he's doing. Definitely want to look behind you. Okay, you're dead now. Uh, what's going on down here? Did we actually get to the fight? Oh, I missed it. I was too busy watching that fight. Well, that's no fun. All right. This was a damn good fight, though. It's looking like, yes, the Vikings indeed did get overrun. And the Hoplites, well, let's not wait. Well, let's not get too excited. You never know. It is tabs after all. But, yes, the Hoplites did indeed win. All right, guys, and on that, we're going to wrap up another episode of Tabs here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking this awesome game out once again. Now, I, like I said, I took a long break from it. I kind of just want to wait for the new updates to come out, patiently waiting for the new factions and whatnot, but it's nice to see that we have a new mechanic to play around with and some new awesome secret units to enjoy. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking. I love how small this guy is, and I'll see you in the next one.